Welcome to the MGuard tutorial video series. In this tutorial, we will show you a simple way to upgrade the firmware and perform a reflash procedure in an MGuard from an SD card. First thing you'll need is an SD card. It doesn't need to be a Phoenix Contact proprietary card, and we recommend using a card with 4 gigabytes or less. Please be aware that no settings like VPN connections, firewall rules, or passwords will be retained after this update. Therefore, if you have important configuration profiles, save them first on the PC. Now, download the firmware files onto the PC. The latest firmware for the MGuard can be found on our website, phoenixcontact.com slash MGuard security. type the device name to search for the firmware. In this particular case, we will need the RS4000 firmware. Select the correct hardware and proceed to the Downloads tab. Scroll down to Firmware Update and click on the latest firmware upgrade. It will download a zip file. Open the zip file. Look for mguard underscore firmware, followed by the version number you want to install, and open it. Now that you have the files, insert the SD card into the PC. Open the SD card in the PC and create a folder named Firmware using a capital F. Note, because the MGuard is Linux-based, it is case-sensitive. Copy the two files shown into the Firmware directory. Safely eject the SD card from the PC and insert it into the MGuard. With a paperclip, press the Rescue button for approximately 3 seconds, releasing when P1, State, Mode, and Info2 LEDs all light up. The MGuard will now reboot and read the firmware of your SD card. You will see the same LEDs flashing during the start of the process. The complete reflash will take 5 to 7 minutes total and will show the LEDs blinking in unison when the process is complete. You will need to cycle power to the MGuard at this time. Please remember, no settings will be retained, so always save important configuration profiles first on your PC. After the reflash, you can apply power and the device can be reached at the corresponding addresses. Refer to the out-of-the-box login video tutorial and stay tuned for more MGuard configuration tutorials.